The reason why I came to Colorado State was uh, the mechanical engineering department and the ability to really contribute to a growing biomedical program here at CSU. Sue James has done a fantastic job founding the program and I really felt I could contribute in a very meaningful way uh, and kind of on a ground up uh, manner to, uh, to, get that, to get that going. And so I'm, I'm very excited about the possibility of contributing to that and helping to steer the future direction of the um, bioengineering program here at CSU. The research that we're interested in can grossly be classified as uh, orthopedic biomechanics. And so that's really trying to look at the mechanics or the forces that are involved in orthopedic conditions. So typically what we'll do is look at what forces are involved um, just in the normal operation of the human body and then also see how that changes as disease states develop. And then finally we try to look at how treatments uh, affect the biomechanics of the system that we're interested in looking at. So the Orthopedic Bioengineering Research Laboratory, which is co-directed by myself and Sue James, is really a training center for graduate students and allows us to conduct high-level research. Sue does her research in polymers uh, trying to make joints uh, more lubricious or trying to reduce the amount of wear in uh, artificial joints. My research really looks at kind of the biomechanics um, side of orthopedics. So a lot of the work that we do is based upon spinal mechanics. How does, how does the spine function mechanically? and how does it change once diseases start to take hold of the spine? And then finally, how do those treatments uh, try to return the spine back to its normal function? The approach that we take when we try to look at these conditions is both from a computational point of view as, as well as a physical experiment point of view. So from the computational side, we do a lot of what's called finite element analysis, which allows you to take a structure and break it into very small pieces and then you can look at the different mechanical parameters each each one of those pieces such as stress or strain or forces or how it's displaced uh, from the experimental side really corroborates what we've done with the uh, computational work in other words we validate our models using experimental techniques we do a lot of collaboration with um, the faculty over in the uh, veterinary teaching hospital uh, they have a beautiful facility for animal models and so we've really taken advantage of that. So we've been able to broaden our physical experiments to include uh, what's called in vivo or live animal models. Uh, it really allows you to see uh, how the biological response, uh, what the biological response is to uh, a lot of these treatments that, that we're initiating or, or investigating. If you're into biomedical engineering, more and more you have to be not only cognizant of the engineering side, but also the life sciences side as well. Uh, so we try to collaborate with, say, people in chemistry, in biology, uh, cellular and molecular biology, biochemistry, all of these core life sciences areas, we really try to intermingle our work with their work. And more and more as you go to national or international conferences, you can't just have an engineering point of view, you also have to have a more biological point of view. And to bring these two areas together is really one of the key goals of this laboratory. We take a very comprehensive uh, view when we try to train our graduate students, all the way from helping to draft grant proposals to presenting the research at international and national conferences and then also writing peer-reviewed publications. And many of the employers have found this to be an extremely valuable training for uh, any potential employees that they would bring in. Very often we'll get, I'll get a call from uh, various employers who know my work and, and know my reputation and they like the training that we give our graduate students because we have this very comprehensive view. And so many times employers will call me saying they want a very specific skill set. And I think this lab is very well laid out for supplying students those skill sets. And so this lab has really gained a reputation for being able to train graduate students and making them very productive members of the biomedical engineering community.